Rene Descartes, the father of dualism, not materialism. When people discuss materialism, it's tempting to think of Rene Descartes as its originator, given his profound influence on modern philosophy. However, this assumption misses the mark. Far from being a champion of materialism, Descartes actually proposed one of its most enduring oppositions, dualism. Understanding this distinction can help us navigate ongoing debates about the nature of reality, consciousness, and existence. Materialism, a pre-Descartes concept. Materialism, the idea that everything that exists is fundamentally composed of matter, did not emerge with Descartes. Ancient philosophers like Democritus and Epicurus laid the groundwork for this view over 2,000 years ago. They envisioned a universe governed by atoms and void, with no need for gods or immaterial substances. For centuries, materialism coexisted with other metaphysical frameworks, including Platonism and Aristotelianism, which incorporated spiritual or idealistic dimensions. By the time Descartes entered the scene in the 17th century, materialism was already a well-established philosophical perspective. What did Descartes propose? René Descartes, 1596-1650, is best known for his dualistic metaphysics. He famously divided reality into two distinct substances. Residential cogitants, the realm of thought, or mind immaterial, indivisible, and the essence of consciousness. Residential extensa, the realm of extension, or matter, material, measurable, and the essence of physical objects. For Descartes, the mind and body were fundamentally separate but interacted in mysterious ways. His philosophy was a reaction to the dominant scholastic views of his time and sought to establish a clear foundation for scientific inquiry while preserving space for immaterial aspects of human existence. Materialism versus Dualism Descartes' dualism set the stage for centuries of philosophical debate, particularly around the so-called mind-body problem. If mind and body are separate substances, how do they interact? This question became a focal point for thinkers who rejected dualism in favor of materialist explanations. Philosophers like Thomas Hobbes, Descartes' contemporary, champion materialism, arguing that all phenomena, including thought and consciousness, could be explained in terms of matter and motion. Over time, advances in physics, biology, and neuroscience provided new tools for exploring these claims. Why blame Descartes for materialism? The confusion about Descartes creating materialism might stem from his influence on modern science. His emphasis on mathematical and mechanical models for understanding the physical world arguably paved the way for materialist interpretations of nature. However, this is a misreading of his intent. Descartes' aim was to preserve the non-material essence of the mind, not to reduce everything to matter. Ironically, the mechanistic view of nature that Descartes helped popularize made it easier for later thinkers to reject dualism altogether and embrace materialism. By insisting on a sharp divide between mind and body, he inadvertently spurred questions about whether the immaterial mind was necessary at all. The ghosts were fighting. If there's a ghost from the 17th century haunting modern debates, it's not materialism but Cartesian dualism. Descartes' legacy is the enduring tension between two seemingly irreconcilable views of reality. Materialism, which seeks to explain everything, including consciousness, through physical processes. Dualism, which maintains that the mind cannot be reduced to mere matter. While many scientists and philosophers lean toward materialism today, dualistic intuitions still shape how we think about free will, personal identity, and the nature of the self. The modern relevance. The fight between materialism and dualism remains unresolved because it cuts to the heart of fundamental questions. Are we merely complex arrangements of atoms, or is there something more? Descartes didn't invent materialism, he crafted a framework that challenged it. But his sharp distinctions forced thinkers to grapple with these questions in new ways. So, as we debate the nature of reality in the 21st century, it's worth remembering the ghost is a materialism, but the enduring shadow of Descartes' dualism. And perhaps the real fight isn't with Descartes at all, but with our own limitations in understanding what it means to exist.